with breaking news in the national lead. That nasty winter storm is now to blame for at least one death as it causes dangerous conditions throughout the Northeast. New York police say a doorman was killed after shoveling snow. He somehow slipped and fell through a glass window. In Connecticut, crews had to dig the snow from under a semi that jackknifed on Interstate 95 in the New Haven area. Another tractor trailer flipped on I-87 in upstate New York. This fast-moving storm is heading north now, dropping four inches of snow an hour in some spots. More than 1,800 flights have been canceled. At one point, JFK Airport in New York City had to stop all air traffic and wait for conditions to improve. On top of the snow, some parts of the coast are under blizzard warnings with wind gusts nearing 45 miles an hour. We have teams covering the impact of the storm. CNN meteorologist Chad Myers is in New York where the st storm shut down the city. But we, let's start with CNN's Allison Kozik in Boston. And Allison, you've watched conditions go from bad to worse today. Bad to worse is exactly right. You know, we've seen, Jake, uh, the storm really come to kind of a lull uh, during the afternoon, but it's really intensified, and the snow has accumulated quite a bit over the past several hours. I want you to look out here. It's like a picture postcard, but this storm means business. Boston area, the Boston area where I am right now, is under a blizzard warning. The good news is it looks like a lot of people are heeding uh, official warnings uh, to stay off the streets. They're staying home. They're not driving on the streets. We are seeing a lot of plows clearing the roads, but it's really tough work because as soon as they clear those roads, the snow blows right back on uh, for them to do their work all over again. Now, those who are venturing out, many are taking uh, public transportation. In fact, there's one commuter rail uh, that actually outfitted dozens of its trains with snow plows to clear the snow uh, to make it easier to travel on those trains. Uh, kids are certainly having a good time today. P uh, Boston Public Schools are closed today. They will be closed for a second day tomorrow. And you said it, Jake, the snow has been falling at a pretty uh, pretty strong clip all day, two to three inches per hour. So you see the accumulation. It's a little deceiving. I'm going to take a walk here so you can see just how deep it is. Uh, seven to eight inches, I'd say at least, and we're not done yet. This snow is expected to finally taper off around eight or nine tonight. No relief then, though, because after the snow finishes, then come those brutal temperatures, sub-zero temperatures expected tonight. Jake? All right, Allison Kozik, thank you so much. Stay warm. Let's go now to CNN meteorologist Chad Myers in New York. And if Chad, once the snow stops, as Allison just said, bitter cold is then going to be the story. How long is Absolutely. that going to be the case? and bitter wind. It's just coming down the Hudson. It will be here for a few more days, but this is a mess here too. We also have ice falling off buildings. At three o'clock this morning when I woke up, it was just raining. Then it turned to all snow, but some of that stuck to the ice windows, those windows and the, and the pillars around the buildings. And now some of that ice is falling from those buildings as it always does here in New York City. Here's what the radar looks like right now. There is blizzard still going on in the Cape, parts of Boston, parts of Nantucket, all the way into Rhode Island and even eastern parts of Long Island. 